just like grandma used to make it. Grating up the beets. <laughs> and make some great beets. What's going on? We're about to leave the harbor from Dublin and get into the big high Irish seas pretty soon here. <laughs> so we're just on docking. Mainly on deck. <laughs> the time has come. We have just detached from the shore. We're heading out. It is finally setting in why I jetted across the world basically to come sail a ship. This is really like a really magical moment right now. Watching these tall ships come through the harbor is just so beautiful. I feel like I'm watching a movie right now. We're all leaving at the same time because that bridge you just saw that was raised, it only opens once or twice a day and so that was the key moment to leave. Beautiful clear skies at the moment and incredible winds. We're about to open up a couple more sails. It's really exciting being here. I don't really know what's going on. Like I'm definitely not like as in tune as the rest of the team is here, but just enjoying spectating and filming it all. So to be totally real with you, the number one concern about coming on this trip was nothing other than getting seasick. And I'm holding up all right, but I want to show you where the boat is at right now. We're currently in the hull, so like in the center of the ship. That gives you an idea of the slant that we're on. Oh, sorry, it's borscht. Very good borscht. We made it this morning. I was working real hard. This is Anya. Anya, how are you feeling? Okay, I'm okay. Oh, you're okay, okay. I feel like the boat is like this right now. Anyways, it is time to eat some borscht. Oh, 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 it's gonna go over. All right, so my guard shift is about to start. It's gonna be for the next four hours. I say guard shift. We're gonna be watching the boat, uh, handling the sails, or at least attempting to. I was like talking to the next people who are basically switching off and they're like, get ready for rain. <laughs> it's gonna rain. It's so, of course, gonna rain. We're in Ireland, so yeah. Four hours in the rain, should be interesting. Status update. Our sailing shift is a lot chiller than I expected. I was expecting us to be like running from like side to side, like adjusting the sails and you know grabbing men who have fallen overboard, but we haven't done any of that so far. We're just relaxing and the sun is just so nice. The waves, you can hear everything, it's just so beautiful. This is a really nice moment. Hi. Anya, you're from Moscow? Yes. Pretty much everyone on the boat here is from different parts of Russia. Got a Ukrainian over here. She's from Kiev. This is Masha. This is Masha. Jan, where are you from? I'm from St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg as well, yeah. Represent. Represent. Stein, where are you from? Vancouver, Canada. Nice. Steering the ship? Steering the ship. And how do you know where you're going? Using the GPS and also kind of looking at the horizon. So there's about a 15 second delay from the moment you turn this wheel and the reaction of the boat actually turning. It's a great, very famous Russian Tsar and uh, his job in uh, Russia development is really huge. Yeah. By the way, Dmitry is the one that reached out to us. He's the reason Stein and I are here right now. I have just put myself into my harness and I'm going to climb to the very top. Uh, there is literally nowhere I'd rather be right now. This is like one of the most liberating things in the entire world. To be 40 feet up in the middle of the ocean, right off the coast of Ireland. One of the weirdest, strangest places I'd ever think I'd find myself. If you told me I'd be here two years ago, I wouldn't have believed you. And, and that's kind of the story of my life right now. The things that YouTube has allowed me to do, I, I just, it blows me away every single day. And I'm so stoked to be sharing this experience with Stein. Stein and I, like, He's one of my best friends for a reason. It's because we have the same mindset. We, we always take the good things and the bad things and we choose to focus on the positive things. And we're both very optimistic people. I know that like this week is gonna be full of challenges, uh, whether it be being in close quarters, sleeping in a tiny bunk, or you know just simply facing tough weather. But both of us have the mindset so we're, we're just gonna focus on the moment, the things that we love. And right now, I wouldn't rather be anywhere else.
on the poop deck and we're just doing our scouting shift basically we're wanting to make sure that the uh, boat doesn't drift too much the anchor has been dropped and we've got a little GPS system that actually shows us where the boats moving so that is the end of our shift uh, we actually ended up drifting a little bit so we had to run downstairs get Dimitri uh, we're not sure if it's the, tr the chains just straightening out or if we truly are in a position where the anchor hasn't grabbed on to the bottom properly but uh, he's taking care of it and it is the end of our shift so we might wake up next to another ship or on the land but it's not gonna be our fault so that's okay with me. <laughs> So today's rotation is cleanup duty and uh, Stein I think, and I are going to be handling the vacuum. Let's get started. After a full 24 hours on board, it is time to finally go back to land. I'm a land lover, folks. We've spent uh, in about an hour and a half. Oh, very good. And this is called Cahor? Yeah, C-I-H-O-R-D. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice, quiet little place. <laughs> I miss the ground so much. It's not moving and it feels so good. <laughs> it's been pretty bad in my opinion at some points, but I'm sure if you ask the captain, he's had much, much worse. He was saying in Morocco, there was times where they were on a 45 degree angle because the sea there gets really rough. Stable ground is the best ground. I could be the one to make you feel that way. I could be the one to set you free. We are now using the northern winds to go up to Druida, probably saying that wrong, uh, but it's north of Dublin and it's actually our final port, which probably takes about two days to get there. Goodbye to the land. I'm gonna end the video here guys. This has been an incredible start to our journey with the Standard. If you enjoyed it, leave the video a big thumbs up. Click that bell button so that you're notified when the next video goes up. And let's get lost again tomorrow. A message, it's been raining.